uh, talking in between all the talks today. Um, uh, I've been around, I, I just wanted to start off with thanking a few sponsors. I know Art's going to do it too. Our host, Tourist Omnia from Cezenic. Couldn't do it without them. It's really fantastic to be in a place like Prague, which I've never been before, but great city. So thank you for hosting us here. Um, the other platinum sponsors, Inteno, Purple, Intel, Sentinel, SPS, and our gold sponsors are Tura, Cezenic, and Technicolor. Um, this is kind of the original vision we wanted, is to have multiple sponsors come together to host uh, the summit so that we weren't dependent on any one organization. And I think that's a, it's a great um, uh, feeling for me to see all these sponsors coming together. And I just wanted to go through a brief history of, of the Open Liberty Summit back in Dusseldorf in 2014. We had what I would call a meetup. And at the time I was working for Qualcomm, and the guy on the far right in the top picture, Matthew Olivari, was the guy who was the engineer who uh, allowed the transition from Qualcomm Atheros of using this very broken Linux kernel plus Wi-Fi driver and saying, and I was the product manager behind the adoption by Qualcomm Atheros of moving to OpenWT so you had a sort of a full embedded Linux stack that you could run on a reference design. And uh, Matthew was the one who brought it all together, but it was difficult because he didn't know the OpenWT developers, they didn't know him, so the meetup at Dusseldorf was really to bring industry and community together. And it wasn't formally an OpenWT summit, but it was really successful in, the, in terms of uh, allowing the, the groups to come together. And, and then the next year we actually had more of a formal first annual summit in Dublin uh, in conjunction with the ELC event, the Embedded Linux Conference in Europe. And as you know, earlier this week, the ELCE was also in Prague here. Um, so that was actually kind of noted the first annual. And then last year we had in, in Berlin the second annual, and this is the third. So keep in your mind what's going on next year, who's going to be our host, because that's really helpful when we have an organization that helps host. And you'll see the the schedule on the conference on the sidebars, that's really helpful to see. And I'm just going to start it off with our hosts, which we couldn't have done it without. So thank you, CZ Nick and the Tourist Omnia Project. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to Prague. Thank you for visiting Open. WRT Summit. I should have somewhere my presentation, but maybe it is not important. <laughs> I will speak about two interesting things. First one, I will teach you a Czech language, because you are in Prague, you are not familiar with Czech language. And what is most important word from the Czech language? The beer. Pivo. Can you loudly say pivo? Yeah, okay, that's fine. It means if you are going to a restaurant, you can order pivo. Yes, we say pivo. And you will get one beer. If you would like to have no more beer, you just say to the waiter, nothing. Nic. The Czech word for nothing is nic. You just can answer on the question what you would like to order, nic. Why is this word important for me? Because you may see the word in the name of our company. We are nic. We are nothing. <laughs> One explanation is that it comes from some abbreviation, and this abbreviation means Network Information Center. But I don't like this explanation. We are really nothing. We are behind Czech internet. We are a company which takes a care about Czech internet and we are domain registry. What does it mean taking care? We are deploying uh, some security that we are helping to develop them in, uh, in our part of network like DNSSEC and so on. And we are analyzing the situation on the internet, criminal activities cyber criminality, and so on. How to do that? 
One important thing for this is to collect the data about attacks. But how? The best way is, of course, to have uh, some network of probes on the internet and collect the flows and the attacks and the IP addresses of bad guys and analyze this data. This is, of course, easy but expensive. And we are Czech. We don't like to spend a lot of money. And we found some better way. This is a project Tourist, which started in year 2013. It's mean four years ago, if my math works well. And uh, our idea was to develop a network of routers. They will be combined with probes, with some special software, which is collecting data about attacks going on uh, through the internet on our routers. Uh, first two years, we just developed two versions of this router, two generations of hardware, and we give it to our, uh, or to the Czech customers, Czech users for free. This is this one, this blue one router, the old one. But it's not a best business model to give something for free and we cannot give it for free to another users from other countries. And we would like to sell them some powerful and secure router. And this was the reason why we started two years later in year 2015 developing Tourist Omnia, which is powerful, open source, secure router based on OpenWRT, which is the reason why, I'm in, why I am speaking about this router here and today. We call it, or journalists start to call it super safe router. I don't like the name super safe. Why they use them? Because everybody call his routers to be safe. You will never say, hey, listen, my router is crap and it doesn't help you with security. It's nonsense. You will not sell. Everybody is calling his own router secure. But we develop something as an additional protection layer, which is here. And this protection layer consists of these four points. The first point, the router should be powerful because the people People like to stay with this router for several years. They don't like new router. People router to have a possibility to upgrade the software inside. Online updates, that's other strong topic for our router. And of course open source, because everybody from our customers likes to check what is the software inside the router doing if it's not sending data somewhere in NSA, just to Czesetnik, and which kind of data and for what purpose. That's the reason why to choose open source solution. And of course, we add some additional layer, adaptable collaborative firewall, which is collecting the data about attacks from all routers, analyzing it in our analytical center, and we are sending the actualization of the firewall rules in a router almost in real time. That's quite important. Okay, my 10 minutes is almost over. I would like to invite you on our stand here. You can play Turtris, which is Tetris playable on the router. Does your regular router allow you to play t Tetris? We can do it. And you can, of course, visit uh, lessons from my colleagues, Michal Hrušecký and Karel Kočí, speaking about rolling distro. It was, at, ah, sorry, that was short introduction in our router, in our company, and we'll come in Prague, and don't forget the word Pivo, yes, pivo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy.